And away we go. The unbeaten bubble has burst. Kemp. Dodging work for the Portuguese players to try and defend against him, but the ball played in. And goalkeeper scrambling across to make the save. England still applying the pressure. Getting across just in time. Daly trying to sneak in once more. And that's what she offers to this England side. It is what she's offered. Offers and two headers in the space of 30 seconds. Period of time. Stanway into James. There's going to be room here for bronze. Bronze clipping it. Portugal. The fair view forward here. They went for the low one. It was awkward for England there. Still wasn't the delivery Nazare might have wanted. Portugal waiting to see if they've won a corner, but they haven't. Wasn't the perfect announced. Um, got Millie Bright coming back in. But there's so much movement in this squad. The movement with England coming forward. Only towards Daly, not that far away. Hemp putting the pressure on, but Lauren James almost playing that right into the path of Daly. Toon. Urge to shoot. Does shoot, but drags her shot well wide, weaker foot and all that. I think had Ella Toon played a couple of games in the last few weeks, I think that would have been finding its way on target with a lot more power, and that's the importance of today's game. And Greenwood and trying to mix it up with this corner. Walsh, and there's too much on that. Well, they don't have the presence of Millie Bright in that penalty area today. They don't. They're clearly one of the leaders in the dressing room as well. That's the captaincy today. It's an excellent ball by Greenwood to him. Touch there from Emma Gomez it was enough in the end. Lauren Hemp down this left hand side causing all sorts of problems. England going a little bit more direct down the left side, deliveries in from Lauren Hemp, and it turned out to be an excellent touch. A couple of inches, a couple of feet further narrow, it might have. Stanley lingering on the edge of the penalty area with Walsh. Greenwood, a whip on the corner, and some punch from Pereira in the end, but headed away by Carter. He's trying to make sure that the cross doesn't come in, but it might still break here. What's going on? Carter will be able to clear it all. A bronze, charging forward, and James, can she supply bronze here? She'll ignore her to clip it to the back post, and it just wouldn't quite reach him. Vital. Touch, I think, defensively in the end. It was a fantastic delivery, and it was it was bored. Portuguese to keep England out, which they have done up to now. But Greenwood hanging that towards bronze and acrobatic stuff from Daly, but couldn't keep it down. I think that shows the confidence that Rachel Daly is playing with at this moment in time. Had that gone in, it would have been a spectacular goal. And who are we? Out it goes, Stanway. James, she saw the gap, checks back, leaving the defender a merry dance. The ball goes across, and there is Pereira. Portugal at the moment looking quite comfortable. If they can keep Lauren James wide, prevent her from cutting in field and unleashing. And it didn't come. Greenwood. Miscued that, but sometimes that can pay off. But not quite on that occasion. Again, England causing problems down this left-hand side. A slightly mishit, almost beautifully mishit, delivery from Alex Greenwood. Stanway looks for Daly. It's a lovely ball to pick out the England forwards. Support is coming. But Daly has one eye on that goal. The shot blocked in the end. I mean, absolutely no interest in passing that Rachel Daly. Here's James. It's not a good pass. Oh, a lucky break there, Toon, and this might work for England. Hemp and Toon and Stanway are waiting for that ball back. Stanway attacking it. 
clipped the bar. England's most dangerous moments have come from deliveries from Lauren Hemp. They've been brilliant. England have done well to find gaps between the centre-backs. Normally Rachel Daly, this time Georgia Stanway, as you said, just clipped the crossbar. Well, half time has been blown. England have created plenty of chances, but haven't taken any of them. Portugal have had the odd moment getting forward, but have held out the Lionesses so far. Half time at Milton Keynes. England nil, Portugal nil. On for this second half. It's Portugal to get us underway in this second period, unchanged. The Portuguese looking forward towards Russo and Hemp on the right hand side this time into the arm. Um, everyone in that back line up with a boost wants to stake a claim for starting. Here's Kelly looking to make an immediate impression. Tame shot in the end from the hero of the Euros. Another player that's going to be full of confidence in an England shirt after that European Championships. And one that's exciting on the ball. Direct, plays well in those wide areas, potentially. Russo turns and drives. And now Hemp. And Hemp looking to line one up there at eyes. Centre backs up for this one. And in it goes. And it's just for the bars a free header for Lauren Hemp, who is good in the air. Big chance. A huge chance. It's a brilliant delivery from Georgia Stanway. Lauren Hemp finds the space in between the defenders and she's got to do better there. She's got to hit the target. As you said, she's good with her head. She scores lots of goals. Having a no time. Smart turn from James. Causing problems already in that position. And Kelly shot. Pereira got something on it. It's away by Carol Costa. Here's Bronze. Stanway. Hemp. As well. James can slide this through, and Russo is through. Round the goalkeeper. Will she get there? Oh, it's brilliant defending on the line. It was excellent work from Russo to get the shot away. But the cover, the experience of Borges on the line. It's the ball through from Lauren James again. The way she receives on the back foot, plays it through. Goalkeeper comes charging out. And credit to Portugal. Three players making those recovery runs. And it was Anna Borges on that line sliding in and preventing the goal. But much more exciting forward play from England in this second half already. Russo stretching, trying to force it. And Borges did well to avoid the post. Applauded by Serena Wigman. And then know how close that was. Stanway. It's a decent corner toward Bronze off the post. Danger not clear for Portugal. It is now. But Bronze with a header. Definitely the target from the corner. Another brilliant delivery from Georgia Stanway. Kelly. Excellent work, excellent pressure. Kelly, oh, clever pass, and Russo tracks the shot wide. Well, we thought Kelly might have the shot. Uh, she fed her teammate there, but Russo couldn't hit the target. Brilliant pressure here from Chloe Kelly on the transition. Drives forward, great footwork, and completely selfless play to set up. Alessia Russo, who you'd expect there to hit the target, just drags it slightly wide. But in and all the players who were down are able to continue. Oh, and almost the back pass from Hemp towards Earps. In fact, Hemp had turned away. I don't think she realised what had happened. I don't think she saw it. Could be a good opportunity for Portugal there to make it out of the group. Kelly, good ball in, flashed towards goal by Russo. Have looked a lot more dangerous in this second half, England. They have, and this time it's Chloe Kelly down this right-hand side. Kelly gets her foot in and wins it back. And Bronze and Russo lining one up and looking for the corner, but wide it goes. I think 
that's three times in a row that Alessia Russo has just dragged it just wide of this post. And this post is her nemesis right now. I think she looked because she wanted to make the pass, but there was... Zellum. Is it all going to come for England? This might be the moment as Kelly took it. A good contact with it. And it's Russo. And Kelly couldn't keep it in play. Well, another day England would have a few goals, but still yet to find the net. The crowd will will in that one over that goal line. Chloe Kelly getting in great position at that far post, just couldn't quite get the... Dig the cross out, she can. And it might work out for England here. Another chance for Russo, perhaps. And Coombs in there. In the end, England flooding that box. They're getting bodies in the box, which is important, and that's why they're getting more luck with getting on the end of it. But Laura Coombs there, two attempts, couldn't quite get the first one, did really well to be able to adjust for the second. But come